Okay guys, it's Mike with Druid Mods. Uh, told you guys I would post a video on uh, me actually using that CNC router that I gave you guys some information on. Uh, anyways, I uh, went ahead and I had to run through a lot of different setups on it to do get the parameters right, the uh, uh, the sequencing inside of the uh, servo motor, well not servo motors, but stepper motors to, uh, that everything uh, worked correctly. So if you guys decide to get one, you need to pay attention to that or you'll end up uh, screwing up some stuff. So, anyways, as I promised, I'm going to run it for the very first time on my IV, uh, IPV. So, let's see what she does. I'm going to go ahead and flip her around. Okay, basically what we're looking at right here. This is the router. Okay. That's pretty much it right there. You got the control that's the engraving module right there but this is this is kind of the brains of the operation there's uh three sets of uh motherboards in here one for each of the axes and then to connect up to the pc and we basically just need to use some sort of hard drive or tower keyboard and mouse and as you can see this is the software right there it's called mach 3 it's relatively easy to use uh you kind of do have to understand g-code unless you can actually figure out some of the other coding software that is used uh, i used uh f engrave just to do this little one i said i was going to do the tree of life on the back of it um, having issues with the jpit with the uh, bitmap on that one so instead i decided to do something a little different i decided to go with this image right here okay this is called uh, the Children of Gaia, or the Children of Earth, basically. This is uh, also a Druid symbol. So we go back to the main software. You got your control start. You can see my little mouse moving right there. I'm going to go ahead and hover my mouse pad right over that. And now we're going to come back over to here. So we can watch the total destruction of my IB, uh, IPV. And we hit, oh, turn the, turn the spindle on. Full blast. And now we hit cycle start. into the uh, cover of this thing. Everything so far looks good. Basically, as you can tell, for any of you who are into the box mods right there, uh, this will make some really nice looking engravings on your mods. And it's done. No total destruction to my IPV. So basically, let's move this out of the way now. 
that with just a little bit of sandpaper on the top of it should be good to go so all right guys all right turn that camera around okay guys uh, a lot of you were jumping to jumping the gun immediately saying hey I'm gonna run out and buy one of these things uh, I would not suggest doing that until you've at least gone over to uh, Mockery's website and at least download the demo uh, you don't have to have a router hooked up to it in order for it to work. You can actually do some mock simulations, learn how to do the programming, and so on. Uh, download some uh, G-coding information on how to, how to program it. Uh, Haas CNC Mills is a good place to it. They've actually got workbooks that you can get there. Because uh, I would really hate for you guys to go out and spend $500 to $1,000 on something that's just going to be a paperweight in your office. Uh, so, guys... That's it for right now. Uh, signing off. This is Mike with Druid Mods. Uh, you can contact me at druidmods at gmail.com. Talk to you guys later.